I'd say to you right up front, what did you dream about when you were seven or eight or nine years of age? Gee, look at that. I reckon I've just pressed the rewind button on the necktop computer. A lot of eyebrows going up and down like that. Now, I want you to go back there because that's where it all starts. Anyone watch that movie, Sliding Doors? Ever thought what might have happened if you'd have stayed, if you'd have gone, if you'd taken on a, a different set of education, different course, um, fell in love with someone else? It, it doesn't really matter because we're who, we're, every one of us right now, we're here because of the sum total of all of those choices that we've made along the way. Now, what did I dream about when I was a seven or eight year old kid? What do you reckon I dreamt about? Room number eight, the Empire Hotel, North Hobart. <laughs> I dreamt about owning my own green baggy cap. I could feel the texture. I used to dream in Technicolor. There was no wireless, flat screen, you know, Pinterest, Facebook, none of that Twitter stuff back in Hobart and those. We watched a black and white test pattern for six months. And then it moved and I thought, wow, look at that. <laughs> but I used to dream of owning the green bag. You feel that texture. I could rub my fingers over the gold braid and the coat of arms. I could smell the freshly cut grass at the MCG. The weight of five and a half ounces of leather in my hand. It takes a while for those dreams to come true. But unless that germ of an idea you know, gets a bit of velocity and a bit of nurture, then it won't happen. We were talking last night about writing down your goals. Incredibly. Most of you probably understand the stat, but despite that, still don't do it. I mean, what do you really want to do? About 3% of the world actually write them down and, and, and their success is, is like that. Another 30 might think about what they do, but it's not the same as actually putting it down.